I'm just straight up nasty. Ooh, look, they're right there, right there. I'm trying to show you how nasty it was with all these fish. We got another one biting. But I'm just covered head to toe in slime. We having a good time, baby. Let's get some bacon. God, that's something. I don't like that movie, Birds. Right there. Right there. That's another striper. Yeah. For sure. Oh yeah, he's peeling line. Yep, yep. Striper, baby. Come on, stay peg. Oh, he's. Good morning, y'all. We are here on Watts Bar Lake, and it is Memorial Day. It's pretty early in the morning. It's eight o'clock now. I woke up late. And uh, it took me a while to cast net bake because I haven't thrown a throw net in forever and I hate it. So we are out here on the side of this big island out on the main channel. TVA is upstream spilling at the dam. So we have lots and lots of current for the first time in like three or four months. However, it is the middle of the catfish spawn. So this could be tough. And that's what we're gonna be after a catfish. Now I have scanned all up and down this island with my graph and I found a 40 foot hole that's got two trees on the brake line so there's the bank right there and i'm right here and it's 40 feet of water and there's trees right at 30 feet where it starts coming back up like right over here so that's where we're going to position our baits i've kind of marked on my graph right there so they're most they're off to the right right here then we got a deep hole out there and as you can tell it is really trashy out here so what we're going to use for bait is a gizzard shad, some bluegill, um, some white bass, I call them sabiki rig, um, just stuff like that. And then the gear we've got today are big cat fever, medium heavy action rods. We don't have the heavy stuff on because I just didn't put the heavy rods out. And we got Okuma Komodo reels on most of them. And we got a couple of Hellcat rods here. This is the medium action. So that's the gear we're using and I'm probably gonna fish for a couple hours, maybe. I may, I'm probably not gonna move a lot, honestly. Like I went around this whole big gigantic island and uh, this is the best area on the whole thing. At least it looks like to me from what I found. I could have missed some stuff, but we're gonna get our bait spread out here in front of these trees. We're gonna throw some up real shallow. It's kind of an eddy over here too, which is why there's a deep hole, it's digging it out or it has dug it out over the last hundred years or so as they've had this dam here and whatnot um, from all the flow. But that's what we're doing. You can see all the timber on the bank and whatnot down there. And uh, I want a big old flathead. That's the, that's the goal today, folks, is a big flathead. And then uh, I'm going to have a family day for the rest of the day so I can't stay out super late past that. But we're going to do a little fishing this morning nevertheless and if we catch something decent a couple of them we'll make a fishing video out of it so stay tuned all right guys let's get let's get in action here i got a ton of rods with me not because i'm going to use them all out on the boat but i'm probably going to do some bank fishing with the family have a little cookout later so i just brought a bunch of stuff to throw out we'll have some younger kids and whatnot and I'll throw out a little, a couple cut pieces of shad. See if we can catch some, some little catfish from the bank for them to reel in. But uh, I've got my gear here. And uh, we're probably gonna throw out six, maybe eight. I'm not sure yet. And see what happens. No skipjack today, just shad and uh, white bass and bluegill. So uh, we'll see how that goes. You guys know I love me some skipjack. But tons and tons of big fish have been caught on these baits as well. So we're going after it. Some of those trees are like right over here. So I'm gonna throw, start throwing out the right hand side of the boat because I really wanna target those trees. We wanna pull a flathead off of one of them. Heavy cover fishing. So I'm probably gonna have the drag decently tight just so I can pull them up out of it if I hook up. And uh, that's the goal for that. Let's see what see what we're going to do for bait. We got a couple of big gizzard shad. And we got some smaller guys too. We got four big giant ones. Five. Four. 
Eh, four decent ones. These guys were just going to cut down the side like that. These big ones will cut into two chunks like that. Fresh, fresh is best. I just caught these a little while ago. I woke up so late I forgot to, didn't have time to charge my cameras, nothing. So I had to plug the camera up while I was catching bait. So we didn't film any of that. Oh well. We out here fishing though. Take them through the head like that. And as you can tell, we ain't got to throw far. Throw it about right there. I may come back here this evening after all the yahoos on the wake boats get out of here, but I'm done at 10 o'clock or 11 because it's going to get wild. Put these guys in the rod holder. Hopefully we get a slam of jam. I'd be fine with a big blue, but I really want a big flat. Put one of those, <laughs> you know me. I'd be throwing the monster bait. Put that guy right there. Still going. Deep here, very deep. Drag needs to get cranked down a lot. Very, very deep here. Excuse me. Also goes shallow really quickly. So that's what we're doing. Let me get all these baits out now. We already got a hit right here. Chunk a dunk. Gizzard shed are nasty. Look at these nasty suckers. That's why catfish like to eat them. All that blood and oil, fresh is best. Don't let them get rotten. Catch them fresh the day of, night before. Put them on ice, keep them alive. You don't want nasty bait. You want good bait. Nasty bait is not good bait for big catfish. Channels, yeah. Little channels, yeah. Big channels, mm, not really, fresh. Anything big is not gonna like something nasty. Very rare you're gonna catch a 50 plus on bad bait. Crazier things happen, of course. However, it's not likely. The Brian special. <laughs> I'm not gonna cast the rod with the clicker on Mike Brian though. You know we got to roast the homies even if they ain't here. Right here? Is he still on it? Oh, he put it down. No? He's got it. He's just swimming with it. Yeah? Oh, is he on it still? Yeah, he's got it. He's just swimming with it. We got to roll down on it. Got him. Oh, he took us in that tree. He took us in that tree. He took us in that tree, guys. I can feel him down there. Dang. I wonder if I can just let it. And look, we got a log tangling up this line now. Maybe I can get it out of the way. Dang. That's a fish on. I'm just going to have to leave him there. He ate it and then swam straight back at that dang tree. Right here, right here. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Ah, stupid handle. Where's he going? He's going upstream. There we go. Fish on, baby. Heck yeah. That one that swam us in that tree over there, I had to break off. It wasn't going anywhere. He wouldn't swim back out. Guys, this may be a, 
halfway decent fish. I don't know yet. He's kind of swimming at us. We got one right here. Look, right here. Oh, he put it down. About to be a double. About to be a double right there. He put it down though. This guy's just been coming at me the whole time. It's hard to tell when they do that. He hit it pretty good. Ah, oh, yeah, a little fun size blue. A little fun size blue. Okay. Ah, oh, he hit the double concoction. There we go. Fish on, baby. Whoa. When you're in the spawn, this is the, the common size blue cat you're gonna catch. Our water temps are, at least surface-wise, up into the 80s now, so. At least down where they're gonna be spawning is for sure in the 70s, and that's the temperature these guys spawn at. Open up. Yeah, there. Get out of there. Man, if you'd open your mouth up, I'd get this hook out. My guy. Like you're already unhooked. Just open your mouth. Not a monster or a big fish by any means, but everybody has fun catching them. See ya. We've got us another silly rig here, y'all. But we're gonna throw it out. Really don't know what else to call it. It's just pretty silly. She out there though. All right, we get Mr. Hellcat back in the game. That one I'm just winging out into the hole. The hole kind of drops right there. And all the trees up like we obviously got pulled into earlier right here. Getting dinked on right here in the center. He's swimming with it. I gotta get this out of the way. He's coming upstream after it. Come on, buddy. Take her down. Take her down. You on there? We're gonna reel down on him. Yep, there he is. There he is. Hee hee hee! Hooked up. <laughs> hey, it's a fish. The people are starting to wake up from their drinking vendors last night and it's about to get rough out here. So I'm catching me some fish before that happens. This is just a little guy. Little blue, little blue. Catch a lot, tons and tons of these out on Watts Bar this time of the year. Like I may take my little cousins drifting later and we will catch just unholy numbers of these. But they'll have a good time. So that's may, that may be what we do. There we go. Another guy. Good eater. We're getting a bite right here. Look right here. Look right here. He's swimming at us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fish. He's still on it. I uh, may put it down. No, he's still on. He's just coming at us. I'm going to throw this one back out. Just cause. 
Yeah, that guy's coming at us. It looks like he's eating it and trying to swim it back at one of these trees. So I'm gonna get this rod back in the water and then I'm gonna reel down on him to prevent that from happening. Yeah, he's still there. That's looking flat heady too, I hope. See what happens. There he is. Yep. Fish on. Got him. Another one. Number four. Another little guy. Another little guy. Man, this is just a blast to come do if you got little kids with you. Or... It is a little flathead. Heck yes. Man, I kind of want to make him a pet. Look at this, guys. Look at it. That is the coolest thing. I've never caught a flathead this small, ever. That is the coolest thing. They are such beautiful fish. There we go. That's a double. Look at that little guy. He's beautiful. He's just picture perfect. What a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Look at their tails, the coloration differences. I love catfish. Oh, yeah, cute little guy. Here you go. See ya. Now I'm really sure that that was a pretty decent flathead because when I reeled down on that one when it was going in the tree, it pulled a little drag. So, uh, operation success, we caught a flathead. Now we just need to get a big one. Right here. Right here. Two of them going down. That one's on. That one's on. A double hit. Uh oh. We may have a striper. No? What the heck do we have? That thing, that was weird. He just came up to the surface. We do. We have a little striper. Heck yeah. Little striper. There's some drag. <laughs> All righty. Little striped bass. Not bad. Very cool. Oh, he's barely hooked. No, I think he's hooked good. Nope, he was not. Quick release. See ya. <laughs> well, there's about an eight pound striper. All right. Nice. Whole, whole, whole lot of fun. Almost had a double there. That one on the green rod put it down. Alright, that one's out. Right here. Oh, we put it down. We having some good action this morning. Heck yeah. Right here. Green one got schmack a lacked. Old Hellcat. Oh, that one got hit. We getting lots of dinks, guys. Lots of dink hits. We've caught some fish. I'd like to get one big one now. We'll have a good little decent video. I'm probably gonna make it an all day thing if we're having a cookout and stuff, cause I don't know, that's fun. I feel like if I watch YouTube videos, I want to see the whole thing and not just, just fishing. But we're just going to play it by ear, see how bad the boat traffic gets. So we got us four or five cats now, a striper, and we've been here 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. Not bad. Not bad. That one's hung in a tree down there, so I'm just leaving it as a second anchor. 
we gotta I just threw everything out I was like screw it why not I have bait and uh, I'm not gonna move because I'm on the back end of this island right here and all the main boats the big giant cruisers let me see if we can zoom in are out there so uh, I'm just chilling here until it's time to go back. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then see if the my little cousins are there and then I may take him fishing. He's on that green one again. I'll put it down. Got a big old piece of cedar from someone's dock that just got into one of my lines. So that's fun. Let's see if we can fix that. I don't know that this is coming out. It's like in the crevice of it. Oh yeah. This one's coming back to the boat. Unless I can get it to turn. <sighs> Got me in a tree down there. That's done for. That's all kinds of done for. Rip. Uh, I got that out for now, but it's now in one of the trees on the bottom below us. Fantastic. I think this one's done for. Can't get it to break. Jeez. Oh, gosh. Pulling up with me. Apparently it was somebody's old trot line that I just broke off. Fantastic. We had the first big rains in like literally three months this last week and there's just trash everywhere. But we got current so I'm happy. I'm gonna try it's a piece of white bass now, see if they'll eat that. Eventually one of these suckers is gonna fold over and it's gonna be a big one. Question is how long can I wait until it just gets to many dang people out here. I have to go catch this fish. You on it? That one's getting dinked. That one's getting dinked. This guy's swimming at us. Oh, came off, little guy. That was just a little one. That may be on right there. Now I put it down. Here, this right here. Musical rods, musical rods, woo! I got a tree. The waves are here and here to stay for the rest of the day. We're gonna do a little of that. See if they'll eat this. 
Look at that right there. Yep. Oh, that's on. That, that's some drag. That's some drag. That's striper. We got a striper on, baby. Oh, yeah. Striper for sure. Oh, yeah. He's peeling line. Yep. Yep. Striper, baby. Come on. Stay pegged. Oh, he's peeling. Heck, yeah. He's just dinker. There's some more line. Okay. Oh, more line. Good fish, guys. Good fish. That's what we wanted. We wanted that slam a jamma. Here she is. Yeah, this is a striper. Oh, he's in this line too. He's gonna get in three of these lines. When these stripers hit, the way you know it's a striper, one, they slam the crap out of it. And two, they just swim left to right and they come up in the water column. There's some more line. Wee! Wee! He ate a big head bait again. We're gonna have to go catch some get skipjack guys. Jeez, fighting me. Maybe a pretty decent one. He's gonna get, oh, he's in all three of these lines. That drag ain't loose. Decent striper. Yes, sir. Heck yeah. Oh, come here. Come here, baby. He hooked kind of funky. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to fish grip him. Man, he's in everything. Not the greatest hook set on him. Okay, never mind. He was hooked real good. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Hey, hey. Got him. Very nice. Look at that fish, y'all. Look at that beautiful, beautiful striped bass, baby. I don't really have time to do a, a big line, giant me hold it and take my camera off and all that other stuff. So we're going to get him back. See ya. God, that's something out of like that movie, Birds. 60 dang cormorants. Those things are so freaky. They've got like blue mouths. No thank you. Get out of here. We have a massive tree on the boat now. Holy crap. This thing's 30 feet long. Uh-oh. No bueno. See what happens. Dang it. How? Ah. Get off of there. All right. Now it's on the drift sock. Drift bucket. The question is, can we coax it to go in between these two lines? The answer is yes. What we got going on here? What we got going on here? Dang it. What is going on here? That is a fish. Definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Look at that. Look at that. 
got them out of that tree, I'm just gonna crank them up. We're gonna crank them up in the rod holder. Is it a decent fish? I don't know. I ain't sure. Blue. He digging, baby. He digging. <laughs> Three jet skiers at once now, baby. Woo! All right, get up here. Woo! Man, I'm having a blast. I'm a fish grip him. Hey, 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 chill out. I'm just gonna boat flip them. Whatever. Whatever you do, don't freak out. Please, I just want to unhook you and let you go. Decent blue, decenter. All right, see ya. This one up here. Oh, he's swimming at us. Put it down. He didn't swim at us. Right there, right there. That's another striper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Whee! laughs> oh, this is fun. I'm like a little kid. Oh, this is so fun. He fighting. He's pulling some more drag. He's pulling some more drag, baby. Pull some more drag, baby. This one ate a big gizzard shad head. This is the last gizzard shad head that I have left. That's what all of them have eaten. Gosh, they're fun. Well, now he's trying to come up. Heck yeah. Trying to keep them out of these lines. If I get them in close, we'll be all right. Whoa. Strong fish, strong fish. Lock the drag down on him. Come here. There he is. Nice striper. Third striper of the day. Man, we've caught a lot of fish, guys. We've just caught a ton of fish. See if I can get this guy in. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Come here. Let me see that mouth. Let me see that mouth. Let me see that mouth. There's another one. Whoops. Striper number three. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Heck yeah. See ya. All right. We're gonna get another 15 minutes or so and then we're gonna call it. And I'm running out of bait. Man, we've had a good time though. Right here, right here. This is a set the hook hook. Got him. 
Got him. <laughs> e <laughs> We got a hit back there on that one too. Yep, that one's about to go down. Come on up, buddy. This is a bumping rod that I use to throw and out on anchor and I just set the bricks off of it. <laughs> This is definitely a blue. It ain't a striper, it'd be zinging line already. It's like a six pound blue. I think. Yep. Six pound blue. Whee! All right. It's about 11 o'clock. These boats are getting out here now. Come here, buddy. Let me see that mouth. Let me see that mouth. Let me see that mouth. Quit it. I just want to make you famous on YouTube. Then I'm going to release you. Man, I got him good. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Who said you can't have fun during the spawn? You won't see me complaining. I ain't at a job I don't like. Or doing hard manual labor. Or, you know, dealing with drama. I'm out here fishing. And I ain't going to bring drama into it. Or nothing, no fun. Because even a bad day of fishing is better than a good day of work. I know that's right. You gonna put some worm on? Yeah. Catching some catfish bait. Mm -hmm. You gonna catch a big one later? Yeah, I'm trying. I catch one for mine to catch, catch catfish. Yep. That looks good. Some blood coming out. Yeah, that's good. Then bluegill will come come to that. You see a lot of blood? Yeah. Okay. You gonna throw them out there? Yeah. Throw it like down that way a little bit. Oh, good cast. There we go. You are.